Hello guys and welcome to another video. So the car which I have got for you today is Ford Endeavor, the top of the line 3.2 liter version. So in terms of overall look, the car is really great enough. It has that macho as well as that gibbling feel. It is really great in terms of the overall looks. The car is really high. So the overall feel when you are sitting inside the car is great. So it is a proper SUV and is also capable of off-roading. Though it is the 4WD version, you also get an 4x2 available, which is with the 2.2 liter motor. So from all the sides, the car is quite good. From the rear as well, it looks quite good as well as it's quite high. So it's a proper SUV. We are already done with the walk around of the car. So now let's dive into the interiors and talk much more about them. So this is the rear cabin of the car. The car is really spacious as well as luxurious from the interiors as well. Uh, pardon me for the voices around. So, this is the door pad. Soft touch plastic material. The quality levels are extremely great offered from Ford. And the handles are also good to hold. And this is the seat. The cushioning is just outstanding. The seats are really much comfortable and uh, offer you good in the thigh support as well and there's no problem in terms of leg room as well as in terms of headroom in the car and this is the second row of the car so you just need to pull a lever out here and there you go and there you get to see the third row of the car the third row is quite congested basically it is better for the child's only if you are an adult and your height is above 5.5 then you'll face problems in terms of sitting at the rear seat in the third row but get the individual AC vents on the top in the second as well as in the third row also and you also get a water holder over here so you can really be comfortable in the journeys and this is the second row as I told you here are the controls for the AC vent and here is also a 12 volt charging socket and these are the AC vents here and this is the huge panoramic sunroof and there's a handle to hold get inside the car as the car is really high so it is good in terms of feature the car is really feature loaded and offers great feel while inside so the cabin is really luxurious and now let's get in the front and see what's there and by the way the doors are doors also open large enough so there'll be no problem in terms of getting in and out and here you also get the scuff plates of Endeavour so the overall arrangement is really nice and the front door also opens very large and here you get big door pockets so you can easily keep a 1 litre water bottle and the fit and finish level as well as the quality is extremely good from Ford here so you get this leather treatment done on the window gears and this is the front cabin this is the 3.2 litre so it is automatic I told you and this is the steering wheel the steering looks quite good so this is the steering wheel as I told you so you get a lot of controls on the steering wheel these are the controls for the MID these are the volume controls and this also control for the audio which is synced with the infotainment system and these are the controls for the ORVM to the outside rear mirrors and this is the headlight control all the headlight leveler and all the controls related to the lighting of the car and this is the button to open the rear boot and this is the instrumental cluster of the car so it is good unit good leaf nicely finished everything here is quite good so this is the whole dashboard it is the dual zone AC automatic climate control and this is the infotainment system it is a 7 inch unit and here are a lot of driving modes offered so you get hill sand city and other driving modes and this is the handbrake and this is the automatic lever you get parking reverse neutral drive options and you can also get it in the manual so the fit and finish levels are extremely great 
of the dashboard as well as the whole plastic materials is great so you get this leather treatment on the topmost side of the dashboard and the steering is also nice to hold here are two big cup holders and you get an armrest over here and there is also a huge space below the armrest so you can really keep all your stuff there so in terms of practicality also the car scores good you get all four, uh, door pockets on all the four doors and the sp uh, storage spaces are also good so it is really good in terms of cabin the cabin is luxurious feels good and you really feel nice when you are inside the car that's all about the interiors so what i really forget to tell about this car is the panoramic sunroof which is massive so here are the controls for the sunroof all these buttons are related to the sunroof so, uh, there's some focus of light so where it focuses so these are the sunroof controls so the cabin is really luxurious and it is always fun when you are inside the car and it is all great well now let's get the sunroof close so there it get is it's close and again to do it there it is coming so just need to pull it once more so there it closes so we are done with the interiors and this is the instrumental cluster of the car so settings so these are the settings you get sound music player clock bluetooth and this is the mobile apps you can connect uh, mobile phone there with the bluetooth and this is the climate controls and you also get navigation and the operating is really smooth uh, operating of this infotainment is just outstanding so the car in terms of sitting in terms of overall feel is just great everything is good the overall fit and finish levels extremely ford has done a great job in terms of practicality in terms of overall design with this car so we are all done with the interiors now let's it is time to get to see what is inside the hood so this is the mid of the car so it shows a lot of information like it is even the warning that the bonnet is open at the moment and it is showing the current song which is playing and this is the main speedometer of the car and here it is telling in which gear the car is currently parked it is in parking reverse neutral drive and sport all the modes are very readily available here so this is all about the interiors actually i am continuing the interiors part once more so now we are almost done and this is the electronic uh, IR wheel auto dimming IR wheel as you call it and these are the sun visors with an ticket holder as well as um, light and that is the passenger size sun visor with an vanity mirror, uh, vanity mirror and light so now let's get out of the car and see what is in the hood so let's turn off the car This is the engine bay of the car. So this is the motor. It is an 3.2 liter motor, which produces around 197 bhp of power at 3,000 rpm and uh, 470 newton meters of torque about at about 2,500 rpms. So the engine performance is good. So you also get this insulation done, and you get hydraulic studs in the boot. Sorry, in the hood, and this engine is really powerful. Has a lot of feel, and whenever you are going on long journeys, the engine is really revs out. The mid range is strong. The low end punch is good. So everything is just nice about this car. In terms of performance, Ford Endeavor is really an outstanding vehicle. This car also offers, and and 
2.2 liter engine which produces around 158 bhp of power at 3200 rpm and 385 newton meters of torque at about 2500 rpms but this motor is the 3.2 liter which i told you and this produces 197 bhp and 470 meters newton meters of torque so the engine is good it is good in terms of performance and also in terms of the cabin noise the cabin noise you don't feel any kind of cabin noise inside the car so this is the whole motor that is insulated as well as covered so now we are all done with the specifications of the car as i told you so now it's time for the conclusion the overall conclusion is that the car is good all-rounder has luxurious cabin that only issue with the car uh, is its third row so it can goes on uh, like if children are sitting in the third row then there's no problem with the third row as well everything else is done and so it really makes out a sense in getting the endeavor over the fortuner Fortuner really has the trust mark but Endeavour is never the less than the Fortuner. So the whole conclusion of the video comes out is that you should really go for the Endeavour in this car and we are all done. Thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you liked it then don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more such technological automobile related videos. Thank you.